Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to update your PHP version for your WordPress website, assuming that you're running either an Apache web server or an Nginx web server. Now, for this tutorial, you will need some type of SSH root access to your web server so you can make these updates. So if that's the case for you, and if you wanna learn how to do this, let's go ahead and hop on into the tutorial here. Okay, I have two WordPress websites, one that is running an Apache web server, as you can see here at this IP address ending in .9. And in this other tab, we are running an Nginx web server for this WordPress website at this IP address ending in 241. So um, what I wanna do first is for each one of these, go into the WordPress admin dashboard, go to tools and site health, and under the info tab, we'll expand server and prove that this is indeed an Nginx server that's running PHP version 7.4.3. And then back here in this other tab, let's do the same thing for Apache. We'll go into Tools, Site Health, Info, expand the server section, and yes, this is an Apache web server running PHP version 7.4.3. So by the end of this tutorial, we want to change each one of these to PHP version 8, version 8.0 and we will do them one at a time. So we'll start with Apache and do Nginx right after that. So it's kind of a two for one tutorial. If you're here for Nginx, go ahead and skip forward, but uh, otherwise we're gonna proceed with updating the PHP version for the Apache web server. Okay, so let's do that first. What I actually have in the background here is um, an SSH session into the Apache web server over here, and we can confirm that this IP address is the same uh, that we were using for the Apache website. And what we want to do first is an apt update to make sure that we are looking at all the latest versions of the available packages out there. And um, I'm going to, through that, throughout this tutorial, if, if the command that we execute takes too long to uh, come back and finish, I'll just pause the video and then skip ahead um, so that way we're not wasting any of your time. So it looks like that's finished in time though, so let's go ahead and issue the next command. And that's going to be this one right here, apt install software properties common. And what this is gonna do, and it doesn't look like that was necessary for me, but it might be for you. Um, that's gonna allow us to add external repositories, which is what we're gonna do next. So add apt repository, the, the PHP repository at PPA colon Andre slash PHP. So we'll execute that and then hit enter. And this is going to, um, again, allow us from Ubuntu to go out to this repository and grab the latest version of PHP, which at this time, the latest stable version, early 2021, is PHP version 8.0. So um, let's see if this finishes up, and it does. So we can continue on. We are gonna install um, next the actual version of PHP. Okay, so the first step here is to do an apt install PHP 8.0. Um, we're gonna let that run. It's gonna take 20 megabytes of space um, and then when we come back, we will install PHP modules that, that WordPress needs to operate. All right, in just a few seconds later, we got PHP on our system. Now let's install those modules. And this seems like quite the long list, but all we're doing really is apt install and then a whole bunch of, uh, some of these are optional, some of these are required, but there are a, a list of PHP modules that um, WordPress may or may not need. So I'm gonna do that and I'll have, I'll have this list linked down in the description below so you don't have to copy it or type it from the screen you can just copy and paste it um uh, but yeah when this is finished we will continue on with the tutorial all right guys that is done let's confirm that we are now running php version 8.0 on our system and we can do that with php dash dash version and yes we indeed are and at this point a lot of people would think that wordpress would pick up that new version uh, but unfortunately that's not the case there's one other step so let's just confirm that we'll come back here to the uh, Apache web server website, refresh the page here and look on our server. And we are still looking at um, PHP version 7.4. So there's one other thing we have to do with the web server and that is to tell Apache to use 8.0 instead of 7.4. So we can do that with a to dis mod to disable this module. And specifically we're talking about PHP version 7.4. And then what we want to do after that is a to en mod to enable the PHP 8.0 module. And now as it's telling us, we should do a restart of the Apache server for um, in order for Apache to pick up those changes. So we'll do that. And now at this point, we can go back to the Apache WordPress admin dashboard, um, refresh the page here. 
and we can expand server again and now you'll see that we are running PHP version 8.0. So that concludes how to update PHP on Apache. If you're here for Nginx, we're gonna start that tutorial right now and go through the process of updating PHP version 7.4 to PHP version 8.0. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll flip over here just to remind ourselves that we are running Nginx and the PHP version is 7.4.3. So let's go ahead and go into our SSH session here. And the first thing we wanna do is to do an apt update. And this is going to allow us to go out and fetch the latest version of the, the packages, just looking at the latest version of the packages um, that are available for install. And then after that, we want to do an apt install software properties common. And um, again, this uh, may or may not be necessary for you, but I'm going to go through this process just in case you need to do it. And like I was saying, if, if one of these commands takes too long to execute, I'll pause the video just so we don't waste any of your time and then we'll pick it up after it finishes. But this looks like it's finished. So um, then the last thing we want to do here as far as adding repositories is add the actual repository. So we're going to do that with add apt repository ppa colon Andre PHP. And this is the, the PHP repository for Ubuntu. So uh, we're going to do that and hit enter to confirm that's actually what you want to do and we'll pause here and pick up when this command finishes. All right, we're good to go. We should be able to install PHP version 8.0 at this point, so uh, we can do that with apt install PHP 8.0, hit enter, and this will take up 28 megabytes of space. Hit Y and enter to continue. Uh, when that's finished, we'll install some PHP modules that WordPress requires. Some are optional, some of them are required, uh, but that's what we'll do next. All right, guys, we're back and we have installed PHP. Let's get those modules that I was talking about. And this looks like quite the list, but it's really just doing an apt install. And then um, all these modules, which um, like I said, may or may not need for WordPress, but just for the sake of this demonstration, we'll go ahead and install those. And that'll take up 14 and a half megabytes of space. Same thing as before, we'll pause here. And when this command finishes, I'll catch back up with you. All right, guys, we should have everything we need right now. So let's confirm that we're running PHP version 8.0. We can do that with PHP dash dash version. And yes, the system is indeed using PHP version 8.0. And like I was saying before with the Apache, um, part of this tutorial, a lot of people think that at this point, WordPress would pick that up, the new version of PHP, but it actually doesn't. So if we refresh this page and expand server again, we'll see that we're still running PHP 7.4.3. What we have to do next is tell the Nginx web server that it should use PHP 8.0 and not 7.4. So we can do that by modifying your website's Nginx configuration file. And I'm gonna look at um, inside of ETC Nginx sites available and then in here my configuration file is called DigitalOcean um, and uh, you know this is a standard uh, Nginx configuration file but down here at the bottom in the PHP location block right here you can see that there is a reference to PHP 7.4 here for the FPM socket. We want to change that to PHP 8.0 and what I always like to do is to make sure that we're looking at the correct path here to make sure this, that this file actually exists. So let's copy this and save those changes. And then let's just do an LS real quick to make sure that that file exists. And it does, so that means um, those changes should be good to go. So the last thing in order for Nginx to pick up those changes is to restart the Nginx server, or you can do the reload or restart here, uh, but we'll do a system CTL reload Nginx, see if that one works for us. It does, so let's go back here and see if uh, WordPress has picked up the new version of PHP. So we'll refresh the page here, expand server, and yes, it did. So now our Nginx server is running PHP version 8.0. Guys, if you have any questions about this, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. If you got any value out of this video, please give this video a thumbs up and um, subscribe to this channel for more like this from me in the future. And if you do, I will see you in the next one.